How do you know that someone is a chartered accountant? They tell you. I qualified as a chartered accountant in 2009. I qualified as a chartered accountant in 2009. I have always wanted to be a chartered accountant. I had qualified a few months before as a chartered accountant. I want to be a chartered accountant. Journey to becoming a chartered accountant. If you are a chartered accountant, I was studying accounting. February 2009, I officially became a chartered accountant my hi guys welcome back to my channel so before there was nolo kududu csa there was nolo kududu a recently failed board i promised you guys that i would tell you about my experience having failed board i told you i would do it when i'm ready <music> to be honest i don't think i'll be ready okay so i decided i thought let me record this video and see where it takes us so if this video lands up on youtube it means i was able to tell a semi this decent story of what happened okay um and if it doesn't well then you know you guys will never know but if it lands up on youtube you know what okay i was a little bit satisfied with what i did um i would like to promise that this is going to be a short video <laughs> guys bear with me okay this is a video about healing you can't fast forward healing all right so bear with me watch to the end and once you are done like the video to show me that you are with me in this healing process okay so anyway let me tell you I'm going to start with the day I failed. This is where it all began. It was the 20 something of February, the last week in February, a Friday. I was at a client in Pretoria in Brooklyn, I remember. Now, when on the day that the results come out, what the departments used to do is have lunches for the candidates and then they would basically announce the results there. You didn't have to attend the lunch. It was just to celebrate you. Um, and it was in good spirit, you know, it really was a good spirit. But obviously, if you didn't pass and you're at the lunch, you know, you have to be there. But I think it's also good. You just get out of the way. You know, everybody knows you feel you get it over and done with. By Monday, when you come back, you're over and done with it, you know. But anyway, I did not attend that lunch um, because I just didn't want to get my results around colleagues <laughs> just as a principal. I wanted to get my results with my family. I'd done it the first time. I was at home and I just felt like it was just better for me mentally. So... I left work around, I don't know, 3.30, I don't know. But basically, I think I was home in time for the results to be out. And the results were supposed to be out at 4. Guys, I should have known that something was wrong that day. Because firstly, I didn't want to go home to get the results. So I was afraid. <laughs> I suspected. But then I got home. Then back in the day, guys, yo, it's king. I feel so old saying this back in the day. But internet used to work differently. <laughs> so you couldn't just have data like hanging around right if you wanted to connect to the internet you had to we used um the telephone line the telecom telephone line and then we connect with vpn with our computers though the, the um the company gave us like access to vpn basically it was access to the internet using our laptops and the telecom line all right so that day i don't know what was going on with vpn i think also the website the urban website was just like overwhelmed with candidates trying to get their results but i could not get through <laughs> i should have known then don't even bother finding out you know so i could not get through and um yeah so then um we decided to go to the internet cafe guys oh finding out you failed at an internet cafe is not nice Anyway, I checked and there was my name, Manga Kanil Sohonolo Pasele. It was like a reputu. Manga Kanil Sohonolo Pasele. Failed. You know, it's like they're so nice. Eh? They don't even, you yeah, know, failed. Guys, I failed. I failed. Oh, it was not nice finding out. Anyway, we left. We left the shops and then went back home. And my parents obviously knew I was getting my results that day. So, you know, I called them to let them know that I didn't pass. <laughs> I 
think my dad actually asked, are you sure? Because, <laughs> I mean, he was so excited. Even when I called, he was, like, excited. Like, how did it go, you know? He's expecting good news. Oh. I told him I failed. Now, I'm, I'm actually thinking for him. He was probably with his friends. Now, he had to, to explain to his friends that his daughter failed. She, anyway, he'll be strong. So, I failed. I um, got home. And then, yeah... I don't know if I switched off my phone. Like, okay, the emotions of that moment, I'm really not sure what happened immediately after. But what I do know is that that night, that Friday night, my cousin was getting married. Guys, who gets married on a Friday night? My cousin. At a lovely venue. But really, on the day I fell bored when I was getting married. So I think I, we discussed it with my mom and then we finally agreed, like, that, you know, just, just go. That I should go as well to the wedding. You know, just not sit and wallow in my pity so i went to the wedding and it was such a beautiful wedding i'm so glad i actually went there to celebrate her you know i'm so happy um because there's certain things that are like really really important in life more important than board so i'm so glad i went to go celebrate her but sometime during the reception after all the formalities people are happy guys people are laughing and i'm wondering why are these people so happy don't they know i failed board <laughs> People are happy and I just, yeah, it got to me. I went to the car. I don't know if my sister came with me immediately or she followed me later when I wasn't coming back to the venue. I was in the car and when my sister was there, guys, it happened. It finally happened. I uh-uh. You'll find out next week what finally happened. <laughs>